वेलकम टू आर्के ट्यूटोरियल सोल्यूशन टू इंजीनियरिंग मेकानिक्स बाय एस टिमिशन को फिफ्थ एडिशन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम सेट 3.2 पॉइंट टू एंड प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री पॉइंट फोर्टी द बीम ए बी इन फिगर ई इज हिंज एट ए एंड सपोर्टेड एट बी बाई ए वर्टिकल कार्ट विच पासिस ओवर फ्रिक्शन लेस पुली एट सी एंड कैरीज एट इट्स एंड ए लोड पी ए शोन इन द फिगर डिटर्मिन द डिस्टेंस एक्स फ्रॉम ए एट विच A load Q must be placed on the beam if it is to remain in equilibrium in a horizontal position. Neglect the weight of the beam. That means there is a beam AB. One end is hinged, and at the another end, a cord is passes over the frictionless pulley, and a load P is attached here. Now our interest is to find at what distance I need to place this Q so that the AB is under. equilibrium now if you consider this pulley if you consider this pulley so i can say the free body diagram of the pulley is like this there are forces and this side i can find the force p to satisfy the equilibrium this side the force must be p that means the force in this cord is equals to p when you looking from point b then this force is also equals to so you consider the free body diagram of the beam ab this is beam ab and the various forces acting on beam ab are the weight q and here i can find the force p from the free body diagram of the pulley i can understood that the force acting at b is equals to p and given that it is a hinged support hence there are two reactions will develop one is a horizontal reaction and the vertical reaction two reactions will develop at a our interest is to find the distance x so to find this distance x straight away i will take the moments about point a then i will say take sigma m about a equals to 0 if you take moments about point a these two forces will not introduce any moment only q force will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction p will introduce a moment in the clock counter clockwise direction <coughs> hence p into l is equal to q into the distance x our interest is to find the value of x and hence x is equal to pl by q is the answer for the given problem